I've been a blacksmith armorer for over 30 years. I've created weapons for over 200 feature films. This is Man at Arms. My Buster sword's been looking pretty lonely, so I've decided to give it a friend by giving you Sephiroth's sword from Final Fantasy VII. You know, anything from Final Fantasy just is way too massive. Sephiroth's sword is this seven foot two length of 5160 steel that I've been wrestling with for days. Started off with a 60 inch length of quarter inch thick steel, forged it out underneath the power hammer, and squashed it on edge to make it about an inch and a half to inch and three quarters wide, and drew it out as a blacksmithing term. Drawing metal is to actually spread it, make it longer. And the overall length of this piece is gonna be 84 inches. It's been uh, kind of fun with a red hot piece of metal flopping around underneath the power hammer trying to keep everything true. I use two hammers I don't think I've uh, shown before on Man at Arms, one of which is a hammer which has a big three, four inch wide uh, flat area on it. It's called a flatter. So I wanted to make certain the blade that I'd curved was now parallel and flat. It's a very odd shaped hammer. It's actually designed for forging katanas for Japanese swords. It came out of a collection that uh, I bought, instead of uh, having it sitting on a shelf, I use it. It's not going to hit sideways, and all the weight's coming right into the forefront of the hammer. I've got the blade uh, profiled. It's to a shape I like, and I've started grinding the edge bevels and getting everything set. I'm also putting kind of a triangular cut on the spine of the blade, which is more traditional for katanas. I was at the grinder for probably about eight hours just finishing everything up there. It's just a big blade. It takes a lot of time to grind it. I've had Brian working on the sides of the blades, on the bevels, with a angle grinder with a flap disc, just uh, keeping everything relatively flat. When that's done, it'll be heat treated at about uh, 1550 degrees. Take it out and uh, edge quench it in a trough of heat treating oil. When we heat treated Buster's sword, the oil caught on fire and shot eight foot flames to the ceiling. So this time we were prepared and uh, since we were prepared, we didn't need to be. So it seems to have worked well. I've also taken a massive ingot of uh, bronze and forged it out to about 3 16 by 3 by 4 inches for the guard or suba that will go on the front of the grip there. We'll be making a brass habaki, which is not a barbecue like it sounds, but actually a little spacer that goes in front of the suba so everything goes together there. All right, in order to make a proper uh, grip or uh, handle for the Sephiroth, I'm going to use this uh, chair leg. <laughs> See, we had a bolt on the end. Repurpose this. We milled out the interior for the, the tank to fit in and press fit that. Once that's shaped up, it gets covered with same, which is actually a stingray skin. We will wrap that with nylon cording and a katana wrap, crisscross back and forth over there. I took a sheet of bronze and ran it through the Pullmax machine to make a triple beaded uh, bezel that will wrap around the top and bottom edge of the grip. And then the handle will be pinned together traditionally with like a bamboo pin holding it in a couple places. The best thing that I found that works for it is uh, chopsticks. We had to go to a sushi restaurant and keep on dropping chopsticks so we could pick them off the floor and take them in to use for pinning the handle together. I'm going to have to adjust it a bit before doing the final grinding on it. Get everything set, polish it up, sharpen it. It's going to be a nice piece. Sephiroth will definitely win a battle against Buster's sword. Because Buster's sword, once you get it picked it up in the air and you dropped it on the person, that's your one shot. Sephiroth, you could swing it around a few times and actually use it due to the weight. To make something that long and still keep it functional is kind of difficult. How many geeks out there are having nerdgasms right now? You mean including us? <laughs>
To see more awesome weapons from your favorite games and shows, hit the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching, and if there's something you want to see next, let me know in the comments section.